The topic of this video is converting a circle from standard form to general form. Let's look at a problem. Write the general form equation of a circle with radius 5 and center negative 3, negative 4. Well, it's very easy to write the equation of a circle in standard form when you know its center and radius. For example, we know that the equation will be x followed by some number added or subtracted in parentheses squared plus y followed by some number added or subtracted in parentheses squared equals the radius squared. And by the opposite rule, the number that we put here and here will be the opposite of the numbers that we see in our center. So if the x coordinate of the center is negative 3, I'll write plus 3. And if the y coordinate of the center is negative 4, I'll write plus 4. Here's where r squared goes, and since the radius is 5, 5 squared is 25. This is the standard form equation of my circle. But the instructions for this problem say that I need to write the general form. So, in order to do that, we just have to get rid of all of the parentheses and move all terms to the left side, leaving 0 on the other. So, x plus 3 squared would be written as x plus 3 and another x plus 3. y plus 4 squared would be written as y plus 4 and another y plus 4. We'll leave the 25 where it is for now. Applying the FOIL method, to both of these multiplying binomials, we would get x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9 plus y squared plus 4y plus 4y plus 16, and I'll still keep my equals 25. Combining the like terms, x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus y squared plus 8y plus 16 equals 25. Now we're ready to put our terms in the correct order, as well as to take this 25 and move it to the other side. General form says that I need the x squared plus y squared first, then the ax, in this problem a is 6, then the by, in this problem b is 8, then my constant term c. Well, I've got a plus 9, a plus 16, and when I move the 25 to the other side, it becomes a minus 25 equals 0. Now I just have to put all of these numbers together. Well, 9 plus 16 is 25, minus 25 is 0. So I get x squared plus y squared plus 6x plus 8y plus 0 equals 0. It is not necessary to write this plus 0. So simplifying, we get x squared plus y squared plus 6x plus 8y equals 0. Both of these are an acceptable final answer. All right, this is how we convert a circle from standard form to general form.